what's going on everyone back again with another video today's video guys we're just going to be showing you what's been sitting in the driveway um 2013 dodge charger pursuit did sell uh we went ahead and got ourselves a 20 i'm sorry a 2006 i was like well actually 2006 2006 chrysler 300 srt8 this for an 06 is a very very clean car um i know originally i had said that i was going to get a 2015 because that was the main reason why i sold my car actually was to try and get a 2015 Dodge Charger and um, I could not find a good deal man I could not find a good deal I found this car when checked it out it's very clean and uh, I haven't had this car for too long guys um, as you can well don't mind the jacket it's a very very clean car man um, I just actually came from the car wash because tomorrow, well, let's pop the hood because people are going to be like, oh, that's a 5300. I know there are people out there that do the fake stuff, you know, fake badges and all that stuff. Um, it's hard. I might be able to. Oh, there we go. That's the engine bay. So as you can see, it has the uh, V8 Hemi 6.1 liter or Hemi 6.1 V8, whatever you want to call it. This car is hella fun, man. Very nice, very fun to drive. Uh, the cold air intake was done by the previous owner. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I was gonna get this thing changed. Supposedly tomorrow, I might be, maybe, you know, maybe this car might be sold tomorrow. Um, the reason why I said that is because I have somebody that's coming actually out of state and um his buddy actually wants to buy the car and actually he found it on a group that i had joined and um inquired about it and it's a very nice guy man it's very cool so i figured what the heck you know i've actually had a couple more people that hit me up on the very same listing concerning the car because they saw it and they were like yeah they want to buy it um there are people that sell the srts with close to 200,000 miles and they went close to 13, 14,000, you know, within that range. This car has at least 111,000 plus. So under 112,000 miles. And um, I'm selling it for close to what others are asking for. Oh, maybe I didn't have the camera right. This is a very, very clean car. I actually decided I was going to do a video now because I might not have a chance to do it tomorrow. I might not have a chance to do it anytime soon. If this guy, um, supposedly, I don't know, his buddy that's getting the car, <laughs> I was surprised because he said, you know, the guy already put insurance on the car and all this stuff. Because I gave him the VIN to go ahead and do his thing, check it out and all this stuff. And he said his buddy already put insurance on the car tells me that i might have a sold deal uh there are a couple other people that hit me up on it obviously out of state this guy's been very cold so i decided to work with him i actually came from the car wash and on my way back i was actually debating if i should or should not sell it because this this is hell of a it's a lot of fun to drive man it's a lot of fun to drive it is very clean the body is in excellent excellent condition well not excellent few minor scratches here and there like there's a little scratch over here and another scratch somewhere down here but oh man i just vacuumed it and i just darted it damn it but interior wise is very clean guys um i don't like this i know on my rt magnum i was looking for this radio and i put it on there because i was like yeah it's way better and it is better than the small radio that they have on there but after coming from the 2013 Pursuit and you're coming from all the bells and whistles, you have the Bluetooth backup cameras and all the good stuff that I had on my car, um, the SRT screens and all that stuff. This is so boring to me. Um, there are people that love it, but to me now it's just, you know, it's 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 boring to me. So I have another radio that's coming in. Apparently it has not come in yet. I have aftermarket headlights. I have halos that I had bought for... The Dodge Charger Pursuit that I'm actually going to I was going to put on this car and um, I just haven't had time I was not feeling too well um, about last week 
you know, so things are basically cleared up with me. I'm actually feeling way better. Um, but last week I wasn't feeling well, so I had to put stuff on delay, you know, the installation and all that stuff. Um, the headlights are sitting in the garage. Um, I was going to tackle all that headlights, uh, fog lights and the radio together. But for the heck of it, this radio, I don't know what's going on with it. You know, it's like shipping is a big, big, big problem at the moment, guys. It's a big, big problem to get things over to me in time. Um, I've been trying to follow up with the vendor, get updated tracking information, but they're not responding. So I'm at a point that I might just go ahead and um, cancel that transaction. Well, it's already been shipped, so I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see. I don't know how that's going to play out. Um... As you can see, SRTA, Chrysler 300. Let's turn this off due to copyrights. This car is fun. I actually have a paddle commander installed, and I was trying it out the other day, and um, yeah, it's it's a get up and go. I actually have it turned off, guys. I actually have it turned off right now. It sounds very, very good. Honestly. It sounds very good. And I love when it downshifts, you know, when you're like at a high RPM, then you just let it downshift on its own. Might have, I might not have a chance to get this car on the channel, so I figured I would go ahead and do it now. If it does not sell tomorrow, I might just keep it. I might just actually just keep this car. And, um... And play with it, you know, because I'm I'm actually liking it a lot. You know, 425 horsepower is a lot. It's not really necessary, but it's a it's it's fun. You know, it's very very fun. Um, yeah, uh, in person, definitely sounds good in person, but um. Yeah, man. Damn. I'm actually debating if I should sell this thing, man. If this guy don't show up tomorrow, man, we're definitely going to keep this guy. We're going to keep her. We're going to we're going to wait until his radio gets in and we're going to go ahead and do the, do what we're going to do. I have the title. I was waiting on the title because I had another buyer that was interested in it as well. And he was really pushing to get this car. But um, like I said, I had bought this car from well, I didn't say it in this video, but I had bought this car from the dealership. And I had to wait for the state to send me the title. So it just came in today. Um, the other guy that tried to get it, he was like, just I'll pick up the car. You can mail me the title. And I was like, no, I'm going to do the whole transaction. You know, you come, you you have the money. I sign off the title. You know, I'm taking my plate out of the car. I'm not going to give you my plate because, you know, I could get it. You know, you could get a ticket and they'll send the ticket to me. And you'll be like, well, it's not my issue. And I didn't want to have to deal with that. So, um, yeah, guys, hopefully, 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 um, if it does sell, hopefully we can get something else tomorrow. Um, I, I do see a couple options. I was looking online to see what I might be interested in. I've checked out, I've seen a couple cars. Um, it's not going to be this much horsepower. It's less because they're not SRTs, you know, they're not the SRT8s. I'm just pretty much looking at RTs at the moment. But um, if she does not sell, if this guy, you know, hits me up and is like, well, you know, he couldn't get the money from the bank. I'm going to be like, I, um, I'm just going to keep the car. I'm going to cancel transaction with everybody else. The only reason why I'm hitting this guy up first is because he's very cool about it. He's, uh, you know, very, um, he presents, he presented himself very well and he's trying to help his buddy out. You know, he has a challenger, a very nice challenger. And uh, he's, you know, loves Dutch as well. So he was like, you know, my buddy's looking for a car. I'm trying to help him out. And he's going to drive him over here. And uh, they were planning on coming tonight, stay in a hotel, and then uh, meet up tomorrow morning, check the car out. Everything checks out. They're happy with it. They're going to just drive her home and um, be done with it. So... Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned for something new. Um, I definitely am debating selling it. Um, so obviously, if this if this deal fails, we're gonna keep her. You know, we might just keep her, and uh, we'll just go ahead and build her. Um, 
Let's do a walk around one more time. Cold start is very, very loud. I mean, honestly, the cold start is very, very loud. I have a muffler that I did, the same muffler that I put on the uh, R, the Pursuit. I'm sorry, I'm about to say the RT. The Pursuit, which gives me control over the sound. I had ordered it, but for some reason, I'm getting delays with that as well. And the only reason why I ordered it is obviously because, you know, the car is kind of loud. And, you know, when I'm leaving, go to the office at 4.35 in the morning, I tend to uh, bother people, I think. Um, I talked to my neighbor next door and he was like, nah, it's not your car, it's not loud or anything like that. But you never know, he might just be being nice. Um, no one's basically said anything to me yet. But I just obviously just want to be the, I just want to do the right thing. You know, I just want to do the right thing and uh, get it taken care of, get her sold before the ends of, well, before we sell her out. couple stuff my I was looking at some couple of options um, concerning a muffler setup but I didn't want something too crazy guys I really did not want something too crazy something too aggressive um, a lot of people out there don't really care you know when they have something really loud something aggressive and all that stuff and they're like well you know forget about the neighbors they're just gonna have to deal with it it's your car you paid for it and all that stuff and I agree you know um, it is my car I did pay for it and all that stuff but I am very, very understanding, you know. I try to work with people. If I was getting up at, I'm going to work at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, I would not bother. Uh, because by that time, a lot of people are up. They're either gone to work or, you know, they're already up and doing stuff. So I don't want to bother them at that time. But um, 5 o'clock in the morning, if my neighbor was always dealing doing that, especially if they lived right next to me, I'll definitely be upset this is why I'm trying to get that setup I had on the Dodge Charger Pursuit so it gives me full control over my exhaust um, I could open close it you know when I want sound when I don't want sound it was a very good setup that I had on the on the car it sounded great it worked out very very well and um, I figured having something like that on this car would actually work out as well so I wouldn't you know have issues you know with my neighbors i would be like hey um took care of the sound issue guys so um uh, yeah all right people i'm about to end the video right here because um it's getting dark since the time change obviously it starts to get dark a little bit sooner than it needs to if i don't get something tomorrow catch you on the next video take it easy